Inheritance is the process by which genetic information is passed down from parent to child. In this diagram, you can see the parents at the top and the children below. Remember that the gametes that make you, the sperm and egg cells, contain chromosomes from each parent, so you have characteristics from each parent. Genetic inheritance controls the characteristics of all living things. So how are characteristics controlled in inheritance? Some characteristics are controlled by a single gene. For example, fur colour in mice. And also red-green colour blindness. So how do genes function? Each gene may have different versions called alleles. Remember that we inherit two versions of each chromosome, one from our mother and one chromosome from the father. This also means that we have two copies of each gene, for example, gene A. These two copies of the same gene are called alleles. Remember again that you receive one allele from your mother and one from your father. This means that you can say a characteristic is controlled by one set of genes or by a pair of alleles. It's important that you can define the keywords gamete, chromosome, gene and allele for the exam. So are all characteristics controlled by single sets of genes? Most characteristics are a result of multiple genes interacting or working together. For example, a characteristic may be the result of both gene A and gene B, which is located elsewhere in the genome. Hair colour and also skin colour are examples of this. Rather than being controlled by a single gene, many genes work together, allowing a diverse range of hair and skin colours. Even so, you don't need to know any specific examples of characteristics controlled by more than one pair of alleles for your exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!